All right, we're about to take a journey with our next guest, Robert Estrin. Uh, he's a performer who is passionate about the piano, so much so that we're taking a journey in time with him. We're glad to welcome Robert Estrin to Real Orange and explain a little bit more about my introduction. How are you, Robert? I'm doing great. It's a pleasure to be here. It's nice to have you. Uh, let's talk a little bit about the living piano, which is your career. It's your passion. That's what right. What is the living piano? Well, Living Piano Journey Through Time is a show uh, in which I show how the piano came to be. I have a collection of instruments, including some instruments that go back to the 16 and 1700s. I take these out, and in period costume, I trace the whole development playing through, and it's a hands-on kind of thing, so I encourage the audience to come up try these instruments, you know, up close and personal. We do have um, some video with sound that we want folks to hear because you've got a performance coming up. It's a, it's a wine cruise. That's right, and a we, wine tasting living piano cruise out of Newport Harbor. Yeah, um, and we want to make sure that they are able to uh, get a little taste of it before they get an actual taste of it. So let's take a look right. and a listen. I gotta ask you, where did you get some of these different instruments? Well, you know, I've always been surrounded with pianos. My father is also a concert pianist. And, you know, I went to conservatory and studied music. And these instruments, I've gone near and far. It's not something you buy in a store. No, <laughs> no. But there are other people who are passionate about these early instruments. What sets living piano apart is having the chronology all in one place at one time to go through hundreds of years of development in one sitting. It's pretty amazing. Yeah. Well, how much involvement do you have with, with your different instruments? I know you have so many of them, and I know you can't be transporting <laughs> them everywhere. This is true. Usually I have at least three instruments. The harpsichord, which was the forerunner of the modern piano. Then the earliest piano. A lot of people don't realize that the piano in the time of Mozart was a very different instrument from the piano we know and love today. Mm -hmm. And I have a piano circa 1760. No pedals, shorter keyboard. The black keys are white, the white keys are black. Oh. It's got a different tone. And hearing Mozart's music played on that instrument is really fascinating. Sure, it's a whole different experience. Exactly. And what, what do you traditionally like to play when you do these performances? What That's a great question. First of all, I do like to cover the different periods, but each presentation is tailored to the audience. So I've done this from retirement communities to conventions to school field trips, and I always tailor the music to the audience. Yeah. What's the response from kids? The kids are, are really fascinated. You know, first of all, the, uh, the piano itself is one thing, but to hear these other instruments, and I, I have them come up and try them out, and I, they just love it, I tell mm -hmm. you. Yeah. Now, uh, livingpiano.com is the website where folks can get more information about That's upcoming right. events, uh, like the one that we were talking about, the wine-tasting cruise out there at Newport Harbor. Mm -hmm. um, when you do something like that, how many instruments are you going to bring out there to the boat. Well, here's on a boat, and there's going to be a grand piano, there's going to be a seven-foot harpsichord, yeah. and there's going to be a, almost a seven-foot forte piano. It's a large boat. In fact, it can accommodate 300, but we're limiting it to about 150. This is going to sell out. It's yeah. just... And just the wine tasting and the hors d'oeuvres and the champagne alone and a cruise around Newport Harbor is fun enough. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I'm surprised we don't find you in Branson. I'm kind of curious. You, you mentioned your, your dad is the one that got you into music. Yes. How did you go from, from being interested in music to wanting to collect instruments, particularly the old instruments? Well, you know, there are so many great... Uh, pianists and musicians out there today and in order to set oneself apart you have to find a passion and something that resonates with people to make a truly memorable experience I, I really went deep inside myself and thought what could could I do mm -hmm. to uh, to help the fund the arts, because I use this as a fundraising tool for the schools and for arts organizations, and this is something that I think people get a real kick out of. Oh, absolutely. It's very cool, especially when you dress up in the period costume. Exactly. That's great. Um, again, livingpiano.com is the website. There's tons of information on there, as well as the phone number where you can get information, and again, he is, uh, Robert will be doing a, uh, a wine tasting cruise um, out of Newport Harbor on September 21st. We thank you for joining us. It's a pleasure. Thanks, thank Robert. you. Thanks, Robert.